were trapped and they were quite literally fighting for their lives. A half dozen firefighters first on the scene of the Hatcher Mountain fire, all making it out alive after a quick but intense battle with fast growing flames. This was caught on camera. One of those firefighters telling Gwendolyn Ducree he is so lucky to be alive to share their story. Intense flames. I've never seen that like before in my life. Rising high enough to face a five story building and wide enough to trap six trained volunteer firefighters on Hatcher Mountain. You know, we didn't think we'd live to tell this story, but the good Lord graced us, and here we are. Telling that story is 15 year Northview Kodak fire captain Dustin Wilhite. He says he and a crew of other fire volunteers from different East Tennessee departments were tasked to go to the top of the mountain to attack the wildfire from causing harm to others. With only enough time to park, they were instead fighting for their own lives. It was just like a, a whirlwind and there was fire all around and I can, I can just say one thing, there was a great group of guys up there. Their best and only line of defense, hours worth of training. The, the big thing is to get to the black, get to the black. While everything was still burning, we couldn't see no black. So the dozer cut us a road through the fire down off the side of the mountain. We slid down and we got down there in a gravel parking lot. And then uh, that's when me and my lieutenant, we started calling you know, our, our mayday. In the midst of the unknown, Captain Will Height made what he thought would be his last call home to his wife and kids. I was nervous. I'm just glad that he's standing here today. Personal items, gear, and fire trucks were all left behind and burned. But there's something the captain says he took home, a lesson for the eyes watching, wanting to fill his shoes. You don't have to help other people. I just want to I'm be a good person in life. I always remember it, you know. Always be ready. Always be ready. An intense way to say be safe. In Sevier County, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. Now those videos certainly give us a full understanding of exactly what they were up against. This recovery is not going to be easy for these firefighters. Pittman Volunteer Fire Chief says at least four East Tennessee fire trucks from different departments were all burned.